through um, a series of research projects which we've done with um, JC Deco, where we're looking into trying to understand the true impact of in mall advertising using geotagged mobile servers. Um, but before we go into um, the methodology and the details, um, we put together a short video. Malls attract over 8 million adults every week, reaching a wide range of demographics, including young adults, ABC One women, and main shoppers with children. Shopping malls are destinations where people can spend, on average, nearly three hours per visit, where they'll be browsing their favourite brands, dining at a range of restaurants, or watching the latest blockbuster at a state-of-the-art cinema. JC Deco offers innovative combinations to reach shoppers when they are in a relaxed mindset and intend on spending money. With over 400 digital screens across 30 shopping malls in the UK, the small format D6 network allows brands to reach consumers at a high rate of frequency throughout their shopping experience. Envisions, the large digital screens, give brands access to the heart of the shopping mall. They provide prime position to ensure a brand's advertising will deliver standout and impact. Understanding how D6s and Envision work together has traditionally been a tricky thing to measure, since online research captured people's opinions and behaviours long after they had been exposed to the advertising. Out-of-home messages are consumed on the go, and online research asks people to recall these experiences when they could have happened three or four hours ago. The result of this could mean the results are watered down and are not a true reflection of the campaign. Mobile research has changed this. On-device research and JC Deco have partnered to create an innovative solution Placing surveys and malls at the point where the consumer is actually experiencing the advertising. The transportability of mobile devices, as well as geolocation and image capture capabilities, means that brands can now accurately track the real impact of their advertising. When filling in these questionnaires, people that have been to the mall could well have been exposed to maybe a hundred other advertising messages uh, before being asked about something that they've done in the shopping mall a little bit earlier. As a result of this, uh, we decided that we needed to take a new approach, and that's when we began talking to Alistair and on device. It was fantastic when uh, Jason Deco came to us with this challenge of being able to truly understand the real impact of in-mall advertising and using mobile service. Um, but before we go into the methodology, just a quick introduction to Omnibus Research. Um, we're a mobile survey company. We have offices in Singapore, Dubai, and in London. Uh, we've done around 25 million surveys now um, across 85 countries. And do this um, by using our own mobile survey technology that works on all web-enabled devices, both in apps or in browsers. Um, we have panels of consumers all over the world, um, mobile panels which are used for all these research projects, and teams of people who can do this for a while. So we can always advise you um, to make sure that you get the most out of a mobile research project and have a fantastic result. Okay, the advert's over. Um, so, uh, looking into the project. So what we did um, when JC Deco came to us is worked out the best way to try to understand um, not only the in-store advertising, but also the different formats of advertising um, which JC Deco sells. So we've done three studies now. Um, we've done one for the fashion industry, one for telecoms, and one for health uh, for hair care. And there's around 300 um, sample size for each one of the projects, split evenly between three groups of consumers. So what we did first of all is we sent out a screening survey to people on our panel, asking them um, which malls they were likely to go to from a list which JC Deco supplied us. We knew which adverts were going to be in which malls. Each um, person who opted in to take part in the study was then put into one of the three groups, um, if, they, if they qualified. Um, the first group was looking at the D6 screens. So these are the screens that look like this, similar to a bus um, shelter um, uh, screen, but um, digital. The second group had, um, went, were people who were likely to go to malls who had the D6s in them, but also had JC Deco's flagship 
um, screens, these huge ones that you see in some of the most premium malls um, out there. And then the third group were people who were likely to go to malls, but people who were going to malls which didn't have any advertisement, so in effect the control group. What we then did is ask those consumers to go to those malls and take a survey after they'd done their shopping whilst they were there. The survey looked like this. What happens first of all is a thing pops up and asks people if we didn't mind um, us taking their um, GPS location. Um, it's very important and we explained to the um, uh, consumers on our panel that um, there would be no privacy concerns with this and then they had to opt in um, to gain an incentive. We then asked them about their exposure to the advertisement. We then asked them various different questions about their relationship with that brand, such as the brand statements you can see there. And then followed up with a couple of other questions around their emotional reaction to that advertising and whether they're actually likely to do something as a result of seeing that advertising as well, such as go and purchase them that product. What we got is when we got the information back, you get um, maps in our interface, which uh, looks like this. This here is the um, M uh, Vision um, uh, malls, which were shown there. We could see that all of the results came back, the geolocation for the various different places which um, the, the consumers were going to, and this validated the research, which, um, research findings which we were collecting. After that, um, we analysed the data um, uh, to, to find the results. So, a quick reminder of what we were, or our baseline was, so when we've done online research, 5% um, had recall. Um, my role involves delivering commercial insight for our sales team, so this is obviously, you can imagine, this is not the, the easiest thing that, to, to kind of speak to them about. So what was great is, is when we did the test on mobile, it, is there was a change. Um, so the three tests that I've mentioned across a variety of different categories, fashion, hair care and telecom, um, gave out great results. Now whilst we can't compare these like for like, we can't compare each one of these like for like, with the makeup of the total campaigns are different as from the online one. But what we can do is we can look at an indication that if you take the, if you do an online, um, if you do a mobile survey, close to the proximity, but when people are consuming the advertising, people are more likely to remember it. They're more likely to remember it, they're more likely to remember how they're going to react to it. Um, and, and that was massively important for us. So 61%, 58%, 41% of people recall the advertising for those particular um, uh, case studies. Um, and that's because they had the opportunity to see it at least. We knew 100% they'd been to these animals. What else did this mean for us? Well, as I mentioned before, uh, my job's to deliver insight for a commercial need. Um, so two things we needed to do here, we needed to go and talk to advertisers that weren't advertising in shopping malls and tell them what advertising in using D6s or small digital screens with a high frequency, what did that deliver to your brand? And then secondly, um, we wanted to talk to those brands that were only buying into these uh, smaller digital ones and say, why don't you buy this big one um, that's right in the centre of the mall, what's it going to deliver? It's going to deliver impact, more awareness and, and, and uh, uh, stature as well. Um, and finally, uh, the business results. Well, year on year, the number of brands that are on Envision is up, up 24%. The number of brands that are on D6 is up uh, 29%. So that's great. Um, but also what we can do as well is we can talk about uh, the investment strategy going forward. So if we've got evidence to show that these things are working, then there's going to be more investment to put them in. The current number of Envisions at the moment is 13. That'll be at 20 at the end of the year. I'm not saying it's just because of this research, but a combination of the research and the brands coming into it has helped us increase our portfolio. So in summary, um, first of all, the uh, traditional technique of using online research and missed the measurement of in more advertising. And actually for that matter, it um, lowers the amount of impact of research into any situation or experience. We found throughout a number of studies over time. Mobile's portable, you can collect GPS location, you can collect photos, and you can really validate that people are actually in places um, and experiencing that thing that you want to measure, and therefore prove the real result of that encounter with that brand. And as a result of this, um, it's had a fantastic effect on JC Deco sales, and their investment in these Envision and D6 screens. Thank you very much. This is a strong correlation between the people recognising brands they use. In the pre-screen, were you aware of what brands that people were going to not really use? There was um, a few screening questions in there to make sure they were relevant people for the study. And being non-rejected of the brand, when we do our studies, they tend to be non-rejected of the brand, and that's, that's our screening. But, uh, the lawyers of the brand, then to break them out by the lawyers enthusiasts. Exactly, yeah, we can do, yeah, we can do all of that. It just depends on the sample size. This was 
relatively small in terms of, and that's maybe the difference between an online and the, the mobile stuff is that the sum size will be smaller, so the breakdown is a little bit harder, um, but we, we can get into sum size and that's good. Um, yes, well, the, one of the main objectives for us was to look at um, how the bigger screens affect, because our, our kind of hypothesis was if you're using the big screens um, within the malls, it actually delivers something else, because in terms of awareness, um, you, the, the, the smaller ones are everywhere, so you pick up that kind of awareness. What we did find is that um, things like uh, premium, premium nature went up and luxury uh, for a couple of the brands, um, uh, there was a significant difference between them, so, so yes. Um, yeah, so uh, we, we did a study a while ago for the Outdoor Media Centre, um, which was looking into um, out of home to place in the customer journey um, linked to all other forms of media. And so you can see um, at different stages of the customer journey what media affects that the most. And so, for, for example, TV is fantastic at um, awareness, for example, whereas um, out of home works at every stage of it, but it gets stronger the more you get towards the sale. And so it's fantastic at directing people into store, for example. And to go and purchase the product that's being advertised. Well, the fast value size of tax space, what stops it becoming a treasure hunt of recognition where they just go and place on the board? Uh, there is no, um, we're not telling them why they're there for any reason. We're just saying that the task was please go and do your shopping, and towards the end of doing your shopping, please take your survey. And so there's no saying, um, please go and look out for pet hair advertising. Um, can you even compare with when at the time you could do intercept interviews as well? Um, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely it's true. I mean, I guess the, the difference between the two is it's much easier for us to use mobile um, because, as I kind of mentioned, it's the, um, it's the <laughs> we're partners with the mail landlords and they're very uh, reluctant to have people with, with clipboards or iPads at the end um, interrupting their customers because they want their customers to have the best experience. So it kind of avoids that, and, and also I think like for exit interviews in general, you remove that kind of advertiser um, um, interviewer bias. Um, so that's why we kind of support the technology. It's also um, a challenge in terms of budgets as well. So putting people into those stores or any location for that matter costs quite a lot of money. And so you could probably do five or ten of those models, whereas with my body you can do as many as you want. I mean, we, we can ask we can ask kind of consideration questions, but what we tend to our, our kind of objective generally is to make people aware of the brand when when they're in that shopping mall, and then that's kind of where our job as as the advertiser as, as the advertiser provider kind of stops because then they're into the store, then there's loads of other stuff that's going to influence them. So advertisers tend to buy into this product uh, because they want people to be aware and to be top of mind. So that's really what we were generally trying to prove in, in this kind of instance. Thank you.